So you just finished this page. So now turn it over and then turn it around. Okay. We're going to be learning about something called absolute value. You'll know it's absolute value because you see these two lines like this. So this means absolute value, the absolute value of five. This means the absolute value of three. So when you see those bars, okay? So it's the distance from zero, which means your answer is always going to be positive. So you just take that number right here, take the number, make it positive. Take that number, make it positive. Take that number, keep it positive. Take that number, no matter what it is, make it positive. Take this number, no matter what it is, make it positive. Take this number, make it positive, no matter what it is. All right, let's get to the second row. Now the second row is a little bit different because what you see is two numbers. So you have to take care of everything that's in here first. So you do your eight positive, you just go eight minus five, three. And now you have the absolute value of three, make it positive. But now look at this one. There's just one number. Make it positive minus. There's just one number. Make it positive. Eight minus five, three, done. Go to this one. Take this. Make it positive. Minus. Take this number. Make it positive. But now what we have to do is our negatives and positives. Two positives. One, two, three. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Wait, shoot. Four, five. Positive, negative. We're left with negative three. So this one is just like this one. We can't make it positive until we just have a number. So I do my negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it. 3, bye bye 3, bye bye Boom. Negative 3. But the thing is, it's still in the bars. So now take this number. Make it positive. Let's go to the next one. This one's fine the way it is. But I have to do what I did here, here. Negative 3 plus 6, so I'll ignore the 4 for a while. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, boom, positive 3. So that's positive 3 in the bars. What do we do? Make it positive. Now bring down the plus. Bring down the 4. 4 plus 3, 7. Do this one. Got all of this. Negative, negative, negative. All of that is negative three, but it's still in the bars. What do I do? Make it positive. Now bring down the minus. Bring down the seven. Do my negatives and positives. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, bye. Boom negative four. So only make it positive if you see the bars. Okay, let's go to the next one. This time now what I want you to do is take that negative 10, put it in for x. I see the bars. And now I go negative 10 plus 7. Take care of this. Do my negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 3, 3, 3, 1, 1, boom. Negative 3. But it is still in the bars. When it's in the bars, boom. Make it positive. Okay? Let's do the next one. Take the X. Plug it in. Take the Y. Plug it in. See my bars. 
bars 10 minus 3 squared. Up. Oh, what do I do? Boom. Make it positive. And then I look. 3 squared means 3 multiply 3, which is 9. And 10 minus 9, 1. Last one. I see bars. I also see this. So I have negative 7 plus. Do my bars. Negative of negative 11 plus 5. Do my bars. Two negatives make a positive. So I have 11 plus 5, which is 16. Still bars. Then what do I do? Make it positive. Now bring down the plus. Bring down the negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, bye. 1, 2, 3, bye, bye, bye. 3, 6, 9, positive. Okay? Now that you did that, and you're all done with your notes, I'll zoom back out. The last thing we did is we took notes. Let's turn the page. You're going to fold this in half, but you want to fold it so it's like this. Just like that, so we don't want to get any of the work that you did. And then you're going to glue this, like this. And you're going to go like this. And now you have it glued in there, and you can see your notes here. And you can see your notes there. Let me move it over just a little bit so it fits better. There we go. Okay? Now, your homework, because it's on Thursday, let me find your assignment sheet. Oops, sorry. Let me find your assignment sheet. Your homework will be Thursday. Okay? Um, we'll just be 182. And I think, let me see. 182 and 183. That is your homework. Let me make that zoom it in. 182 and 183. That is your homework for Thursday.